Hello, long riders. Today, in this video, we are going to teach you how to check water temperatures. And if you're new here, click down there to subscribe so you don't miss any videos like this one. We're going to show you how to check two water temperatures in two ways. We're going to show you how to check it while you're at home, before you go to your adventure. Like in our case, we have a 45 minute drive at the Pine Creek. We're going to show you how to do that before you go. And we're going to show you if you go out in the morning, let's say, and water temperatures you think are in the morning are 65. Water's cold enough in the morning, but now it's noon, got 90 degrees, and you want to know how to check your water temperatures, how to do that, where to get stuff to do that, we're going to show you in this video. So let's get right to the water and the computer right now. Okay, here we are at Yahoo, and we're going to type in the creek you want to look up, or you can Google this, and we're going to put in Pine Creek. Uh, stream, nah, uh, stream report, uh, no, no, that's going to give us water levels, um, we're going to go back, let's type in Pine Creek fly fishing report, and, uh, down there at the bottom it is, we'll go down there and click on the Pine Creek fly fishing report, now, you might have to look through some of these to look at different ones to find out the ones that, uh, you need the one that gives you the most report, best report. Um, I've done this every time I go to, before I go to the creek. I do this for hatches and other things. So we know that it's the Orvis one we want. So we go up to Pine Creek, and in here you can see the visibility. See water temperature is 74 degrees. That is way too warm. You don't want to trout fish in that warm temperatures. Um, actually, up in here. If you read this, it says about being too warm for smallmouth fishing. Um, you gotta wait till the weather breaks. It's like 90 degrees here. And uh, even with the water, cold water feeding into this creek, it still is way too warm to be trout fishing. So now we're gonna go out of that and we're gonna go back in and we're gonna check out a different creek that sometimes stays colder longer. And then we're gonna look at Penn's Creek and we'll go to the fly fishing report. And again, you might have to look through different ones to find out who gives you the best report of that particular creek. We know that it's the TCO Outdoors, man. They have great reports. They probably do it ones in your area. See, now there's the water temperatures in the low 60s. That is way much better. You can see it's just a little bit of a height wise. And uh, down here is all your hatches, your patterns and sizes. Um, we'll get to that later, how to do a I don't know what to take with you in your box, but yeah, you can see that those six. Here we are out of the creek. Water behind us. And we're here to do some really important things that you guys got to know about. It's how to check water temperature. Suppose you're fishing in the morning in the water. You know that your creek local by, the water was cool enough in the morning. Like Lou fishing here this morning. Now it's noon. It's getting hot. It's like 9, 80 some degrees, I think, out here. Uh, above 80, almost 90 degrees out here. It's probably even higher than that. Tomorrow is just taking a while. So what you want to do is you want to go to your local Walmart or your local store or pet store and go get yourself a fish aquarium thermometer. Usually has a suction cup on the back of that to suck it fast to the aquarium. You just take that off. Put it and I put it in an old cigarette carrier with some stuff in there so it doesn't get broken. You just stick it down in there, like so. Put your box up. Boom. Got a little teeny thermometer. So, what are you going to do? You're going to check water temperature. Now, let me show you something. Here, along the bank, where it's really, really like close to us, where the water isn't moving, your water temperature is going to be warm because that water is laying there. Same way with a low, uh, slow moving water in a hole, water temperature is going to be warmer, and especially at the top. So once you get down to like four feet deep hole, water on the bottom is going to be colder. It's something to keep in, in your thoughts as you measure water. 
All right, so we're going to go check this water temperature. So, ooh, I don't know if you'd see that or not. It about, it was at like, in here. So you want it to be below the green. And it was. It was just slightly in the green. But you can see the green is 70 degrees. You don't want to fish above 70 degrees. So, clear red mark. It's in the green on this particular thermometer. Pack it up, time to go home. It's above 70. So that's how you take water temperature and check it by using the aquarium the thermometer. Now this morning this creek was well low 60. Um, we still have had heat temperatures, overnight temperatures in the 70s. So it's been pretty warm. So you kind of don't want to fish. Fish in the morning, use heavy tippets. Let's go back to the studio and we can discuss these findings and what you do. So that's how you check water temperature uh, on the creek and on your computer. And uh, if you're gonna take a long trek, make sure you check water temperatures before you go an hour drive and get there and the water temperature's too warm. Um, like when we go up to Pine Creek, if we go up there and the water's too warm, we fish late run, fish a Spring Creek nearby so your trip wasn't wasted. But the best way is check on the computer. Hey, if you like this video and you like these videos, uh, the video here, go down here and subscribe. It's a little red button down there. Make sure you click that to subscribe um, because so you don't miss any of our amazing videos on checking water temperatures, flies. If you go back, go back and check out our archives and check out all the uh, past videos we've made of fly tying videos. We got over 100 fly tying videos and I think over, I don't know, we got lots of videos. Go check them out and fishing techniques and flies you need to tie. So go check out all our videos. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching our videos. And thank you for caring about water temperatures. You have to understand that when that water temperature is 70 degrees, there's very low oxygen in the water. The fish already have to fight. Just like if you go out, and it's 90 degrees out here right now. If you go out running a mile, it's gonna sweat like crazy. You're gonna need water. The fish does the same thing, but the water, Plus, it takes them more to uh, swim or chase food. Plus, the oxygen level in the water because the water temperature is up also is lowered. So you have a double whammy, and this can lead to killing fish. You put them back after a long fight. They struggle. It's just like you run and you're out of breath. You pick them out of the water. They're still they're, Now they can't breathe. And you put them back in the, in the water with oxygen, low oxygen levels, and they just can't get their breath, breath back, and it kills them. Now, even though you put them back in the water and they swim away, it doesn't mean you didn't do permanent damage to them by fishing them in that warm water. It might not have died right there, but it might take a couple days or weeks, and uh, they'll die from health issues. So, make sure you always check water temperatures. It's very important. And also make sure you always check out our playlist. We got fly tying and fishing videos up here. And there's a little picture of me. If you click that, you can subscribe. Please make sure you subscribe. Helps our channel. 
If you're watching this, you better be subscribed. Keep your lines wet. Alec Treason only give them fish a sore lip.